everybody, Marin and Gaming here, and we're back in our uh, solo Minecraft survival world, working on Himeji Castle. Um, I can't remember how much I showed you last week. We did get up uh, all the, um, whatever you call them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the uh, black concrete into the inside and uh, in rods and whatnot. And apparently, the string does not work because I am seeing a few people up there way up at the top. In fact, let me see if I can actually hit one of them. I didn't put string on that end here thing because I didn't think it was tall enough. I thought it was only a block and a half tall, but apparently I need to do it there too. We'll probably end up having to swap this out for carpet instead of um, whatever you call it. Although I don't know what we're going to do on the outside. I guess we'll just have to leave it on the outside. Um, because we don't want it to look funky. I was using string just because it made it invisible. Either that or I did not get that one spot right up there. Okay, hold on. Let's see. Can I hit him? Oh, uh, was that too high? I think that got him. Yep. Question is, what was that? I'm not seeing other ones though, so maybe we're okay. And I'll have to fly up in there and get that one. There we go, we got it. Cool. Anyway, oh, of course it's nighttime. But yeah, eventually we'll light up the inside anyway, so it really won't matter. Um, because they don't suicide jump off those. Uh, so I ended up redoing the wall a little bit. You can kind of see it from the inside here. Let me get on the outside. Well, if I can manage to time this right. So what I ended up doing um, is making it a two-tier instead of a three-tier like it was before, uh, where we had that tier being, you know, a tier and then going up from there. We actually just brought this section of the wall up to the same height as the second tier of the little entrance way um, and I think that looks much nicer and it also gave it the correct dimensions for the tower um, like I said this is going to be a short video just because I don't have a lot of time to record today I was just kind of giving you an update because yeah this took a while um, because I mean I still used the first you know two blocks here but then we had to take out all the the cobblestone there and we got all the way around the other side um, this long wall and I was having to gather more concrete because we were out in andesite because we were nearly out of andesite. Um, but I got quite a bit more. Um, but yeah, we had to do this whole wall. And I got like halfway across the other wall, I think. Um, but I'm still having to uh, work on that a little bit. Uh, the problem is on this far end, uh, I need to figure out where how tall the tower is and how wide the tower is uh, in order to do the roof line. Which, let me fly out there and show you. So the roof line for this, I'm not sure on yet, just because we have to have the tower here. But that is, this is the actual dimensions, the correct dimensions of that tower. Fairly close. The uh, the roofs, I still don't like the roofs, but we're kind of limited by, you know, what we can use. But yeah, so there is our tower. And I forgot to put one of the, uh, I ran out of andesite stone walls there. Um, but anyway, oh, 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 did I miss it? Can't land it. Landed, haha. Uh, but yeah, this is just about right because uh, that looked like it was right on par with close to where that is. And then this level here was, or th this, whatever, edge of the roof was about the same height as that, uh, whatever you call it, peak right there. So we are looking good. Um, but yeah, to know, I need to know how big the tower here is. Because uh, I think it goes all the way right to there. Because um, it's a little bit wider than the rest of this. And then we will connect these two up. And that will be one side of the outer wall of the of the fortress done. Um, but yeah, and of course we use the birch for now. I may end up replacing that, but I had tons of birch for some reason. I wonder why. Could it be that we just chopped down a forest way right over there? Um... Yep, so this is taking a whole lot longer than I expected, especially the concrete uh, gathering 
uh, all the stuff we need for it uh, does take quite a while. Uh, and I'm trying to go far enough away that it's not going to mess with anything we are going to do in the near future because we're going to keep building this up and then we'll probably do another, uh, probably a different style kingdom uh, over in that direction. Or was it that direction? Or that way? I don't know. We're just going to do different um, kind of uh, buildings as we go along and different styles because uh, I've never actually built a real castle, like a, a legitimate castle. Um, so this is technically my first and it's not, you know, your standard uh, stone brick and cobblestone. So anyway, and of course we also have to fill out the rest of the city and do our farms. I really need to start doing our farms because since we're not over at the other one, we're not getting our uh, sugar cane enough, so I am running out of rockets. Um, I don't think, yeah, that's pretty much all the rockets I have, and we're going to need more gunpowder. So I really need to do a creeper farm somewhere uh, down below, I would assume, is where I would end up doing it. But anyway, this is where we are at so far. I think it looks really nice, um, and it gives it that real Meiji Castle feel. Um, and I didn't get any comments uh, last week on the uh, the design here. Uh, if you should, if you think we should keep it, I, I really don't like just cobblestone, but I'm not sure what I want to do with it. Uh, we could use gravel or something like that. We could take out the stone brick possibly and use gravel. I might actually do some test sections on that on the the wall over there uh, with different options as to what else we can do. Um, but yeah, anyway. That is what we're doing. We have done so far, and actually, you know what? We could update our map. Uh, I think it's. Uh, how do I get it? There we go. I didn't click on the right one. Nope. Oh, I guess that is it. Okay. So there we go. So now it's got the roof kind of around in there, and uh, the starting of that roof there. And you, yeah, I love that you can see the uh, the inner windows here with the the little black spots. But yeah, so that is probably all I have time for today. But I figured that's a nice little update to show you what we've managed to get done in the time frame in between weeks. Um, since I am working on three different uh, playthroughs of this, of course you know. Uh, the Infinity Craft and the Elsewhere Realm. Uh, I am kind of limited on time on how much I can spend on each one because I do have a normal 9 to 5 job as well. So, yeah, it takes up a lot of time. But I am definitely uh, proud of how far we have gotten, and especially with the resource gathering. That's what takes the longest. Um, but yeah, like, see, you can see here, like, I'm having to expand the wall right there. Uh, bring it out another block uh, to make it match up uh, because we also had to figure I'm not exactly sure where that's going to meet up but anyway this is Meriting Gaming don't forget to like share and subscribe and there's a hole right there do I have any no I don't have any cobblestone um, <laughs> this is Meriting Gaming don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the little notification icon so you can see all my videos like I mentioned we're doing three different Minecrafts uh, Himeji Castle an Alpine Village and Actually, we could do a castle there. What do y'all think? Hashtag castle and infinity craft. Um, and then we are doing the uh, nether mushroom biome portal thing. <laughs> and whatever you want to call it, in the elsewhere realm. Of course, we have Elite Dangerous and uh, Medieval Dynasty going as well. Anyway, it's Marina Gaming, and I'll see you at Himiji. Castle.